Hello Scorpio, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. This is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave the rest alone or you might want to look at your moon and rising sign for greater clarity. This is time to go. So there's something you're needing to leave, you're needing to walk away from here. It's time to go now. So we can see what else. This is a nine so if you go it will help end your challenges, it will move you towards the ten you see. Ask for help from others. Some people think it's a weakness to ask for help. This could be asking advice. It could be talking through with supportive networks of people you trust. Choose a new direction. It's time to go down another path here, definitely, Scorpio. So we'll see what the tarot's got to say here. If this doesn't resonate with you, please, uh, there's a playlist on my channel with other messages that might suit you better. You might want to look at them. We have the Seven of Cups, the Strength card, Leo Energy, the Hierophant, beautiful Sun card, most suspicious card in the deck, beautiful. Overall central energy is the Queen of Wands, the Devil card, the Hanged Man, the Fool and the beautiful Queen of Cups here. Now what we've got here is we've got the Devil Energy and this can be anything that's harmful in your life. Now it could be in any area of your life. It could be within your work environment, it could be toxic work environments, toxic bosses, relationships uh, within your private life. It could be addictions you have. It could also be an ego-based energy that thinks you know that you'll never achieve things and you don't deserve the best. It's anything that's holding you back here that's harmful to your development, your growth, your prosperity. So what Spirit's saying is they want you to look at this now. It's time to go. It's time to go and move away from this type of energy, whether it be a person, an environment or situation in your life. It's about making choices here. Now, you're procrastinating because there's choices that need to be made because what we need to do here is we need to choose a new direction, Scorpio. OK, now these choices here, we're well aware that some of these choices, it can be daunting because we'll, we all know that we've made choices that are better for us than others. You can see the snakes, you can see the reefs. We're all aware of that. But we need to learn from our past, use our past experiences here. Look at everything from every perspective. He's hanging from the tree of knowledge here. And Spirit holds you in this energy when they want you to learn things about yourself, your choices, your environments, your relationships, whatever this may be for you. Use the knowledge you've gained. When you look at things from every perspective, you'll start to see the way forward. Now, when we're making choices, we're always tuning in with our intuition. What we're thinking, sensing, feeling and seeing around us will help you as well. But you want to be looking at things. You've learned loads here. You've gained the knowledge here. And there's a light bulb moment. Now, we've also got the Hierophant here. And this can be a very spiritual card because you're your own best guru here when it comes to knowledge. You know what's going on around you here, eh, Scorpio. So we need to look at this. We need to think about traditional values as well. We want to be around people that have the same traditional values as ourselves, not toxic people. This could be you coming into alignment with your spiritual self. It could also, if you're choosing a new direction, it could be moving from one industry into another because this can be conglomerates. So when we're choosing this direction, we could be moving into a new industry completely. We could be Moving towards people that have the more traditional values as we do, so they understand you, you understand them. It could be people with the same religious uh, beliefs as you. It could be you coming into alignment with your spiritual self because you're making your choices, you're listening to your intuition, and you're, gain, you're learning. Uh, you've gained a lot of knowledge and you can look at everything from every perspective. So whatever this is for you, you're your own best guru. You're your own best guru here. You've learned here and you've learned about choices. You know exactly what's for you and what isn't here. It's time to choose a new direction. Now, strength here, you can gain strength. It's not just a simple thing as being strong. We can all say be strong. What does that mean? What she's doing here, and I'm saying she is not a gender specific reading. I'm talking about the energies on the cards. What she's doing here is she's gained her confidence because she's looking at what she's been through and she's understanding what she's learned and what she's survived. So you've been through a lot here, definitely, Scorpio, but you have survived that. You've learned loads. You're strong. Look how far you've come. 
And that gives you the confidence and the self-esteem to go forward. And that's what this strength, Leo energy, is all about. There's a knowledge there above the infinity symbol, your growth. You've got the knowledge here. So make your decisions. Don't, don't, you know, don't procrastinate any longer. Make the choices you need to make because it's time to go. It's time to choose another direction. And we can ask for help from others. It could be support networks. It could be counsellors. It could be lawyers, friends, whoever it may be. Ask for support. People are there. There's always people who will support you to go forward. And it's about, like I say, moving towards your happiness here and using your intuition. She's a very intuitive queen. You can see her looking at her emotions here. Uh, but this is more importantly, is about you, your own best guru. You've got the knowledge now. It's time to leave harmful situations behind and go towards your happiness, most definitely. And intuitively, you'll know exactly what that is. And so what we're needing to do is we're needing to take that leap of faith. Go down a new path. Now, you can see what he's doing. He's starting from ground zero here. He's not taking all his burdens with him. He's getting the support he needs and he's prepared to go on that journey and start again. And he's prepared to invest in himself here because what we've got here is the overall central energy for this reading is the Queen of Pentacles, a eh, Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is somebody who's passionate, who's creative. She puts her heart and soul into things. So it's time to create new things. Start again, take that leap of faith towards whatever it is you want to create. Whether it is, if you've got an addiction, to become clean. Uh, whether it's a mindset here, it's about getting over the mindset, making the choices, being confident and strong, and taking a leap of faith towards new creative things for yourself here. Now, this, it, it could be anything, whatever it is you're wanting to create, but she puts her heart and soul into things she's passionate about, and that's what brings the growth into her life here. Okay. Now, it's going to bring in a lot of happiness here. This is the most auspicious card in the deck. So going, taking the leap of faith, going down a new direction is going to bring a lot of happiness into your life. And it's going to move you away from all these harmful situations, environments or people. And this is what spirit's wanting. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, card to have. So time to go. Make your decisions here, um, Scorpio, most definitely. I will just take another three cards. Yeah, there we go now. Now, this is about cutting your losses. Fives are change. So what we need to be doing here is we need to be making these decisions now. Now, when we move away, we're going to feel as if there's a sense of loss. So we could be leaving something behind that we would rather take with us. It could be like winning the battle and not the war. We might have to come to, you know, compromises. We might have to settle for things. But whatever we're doing here, we want to be focusing on what we're gaining and not what we're leaving behind. So focus mentally on what you're coming out with. That's what's going to get you through. This could be you having the ideas. It could be somebody bringing you the information if you're asking for help here. It could be a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius energy, but it doesn't have to be. But this information or this clarity that you're gaining through listening to your intuition and making your choices is going to rise you above things and you're going to move forward. It could also be you thinking about how you're going to communicate. I'll just turn this up the other way because it's a card there. This is the Ace of Swords, and this is about clearly seeing the direction you want to go in. Now, you could have ideas about what you want to create here, and they might need tweaked. They might need looked at. Or this could be you communicating exactly which path you want to go down. Seeing clearly now what you're going to cut your losses. You're going to get information or help, or you're, you're through cutting your losses. You've got an idea of where you want to go now, and you can clearly go towards it. And you'll bring in a lot of happiness into your life here. Okay, Scorpio, I'll just take a couple of Divine Direction cards. Affirm. Affirm. Create your own affirmations. Think of words or phrases that inspire you and write them down. Now, this is very positive energy. It's to help with your self-esteem and your mindset here. Decide. Decide. Absolutely. It's time for you to make a decision. Call upon your spirit guides for help. Time to make your decisions here, Scorpio. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.